you see yourselves as part of a, a great Texan music tradition? We used to make a big thing about it. Everyone said the little old band from Texas, and it was kind of a byline that has just stuck for so long. Uh, I, I think that of recent times, we've become more of an American <coughs> band than peculiar to, to Texan, even though we still got the big sound from the big country. <laughs> <laughs> The, the way the Texan thinks is that, you know, if, if they don't like what's going on in the United States, you know, they seriously think about just leaving it. And uh, so what we are, we really didn't have a choice about it. You know, we were born in Texas and proud of it. And uh, I know my roots, you know, I, I like to be in Texas better than anywhere else. What's your idea of um, a typically terrific Texan night out? Texan night out probably would take about three or four days, you know, first of all. You can't squeeze it all in that. Generally, you start <clears throat> with a group of friends and you go somewhere, and one thing will lead to another. More than like, you know, a lot of times you'll wind up in a different city or town. Possibly in Move. jail? Well, there's always that possibility, you know, but you don't let that stand in your way. You'd never go anywhere. Well, well the I'm parties good. tend to move around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've shunned interviews, you haven't done chat shows, and you've done very few live TV performances. In fact, the first live TV you ever did was on Whistle Test in 1980. Why did you decide to do that one? I can't remember how that came about. I remember it was one of the more enjoyable uh, first outings, uh, not having been used to the regulations imposed by British television. It was the first time we had seen a decibel meter, and there was like only a certain volume that you can reach before it's time to cut back. So we wound up playing through a small radio that someone had found backstage and had a great tone, really dirty, and it pleased him. It wasn't too loud, so it was it was an experience. We enjoyed it. black frames with the glass so dark. They won't even know your name. And the choice is up to you. Cause they come into classes. Rats don't say the cheap sunglasses. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do you enjoy making the videos more than you do playing or recording? No. I don't think so. Uh, Billy Screening. <laughs> it depends. Uh, as you know, videos can be uh, extremely fun to watch, and yet going into the actual making of a video, they promise you a two-day shoot, and you wind up two weeks. So it can, it can be. It's not like doing these interviews, really. <laughs> Isn't there a danger that, with such an emphasis on the video for ZZ Top, that it can push the music into second place? I think that's always a possibility for anybody working with both music and videos. Uh, but for us, it was the music first, and it'll always be the music. It doesn't bother you when ZZ Top are thought of as those wacky guys with the long beards and, and the he funny red car? He is a wacky car. guy with a long beard. I mean, <laughs> it was, it was uh, before, uh, hey, check out the weirdos. And now it's, hey, they're those weirdos that have been on television. <laughs> Why have you dropped the car, the hot rod motif, the eliminator? The, the car uh, customized itself and changed into uh, this new piece of equipment that we're using now. So we didn't drop the car, we just uh, let it alter itself.